Yeah, we've got our Princess Trust get started on football cohort. So basically, we get them in from a community football point of view. We train them up over the week. They do their level one football. They have a few stadium incentives like tours and workshops. And then the idea is the ones who show the aptitude and the correct attitude, we take them on in a voluntary capacity and then offer them their coaching pathway through that way. Because it's been such a journey for me as well, like these boys have probably been on a journey as well, so my journey's just been a bit different, but obviously I respect that it's different to theirs, but like it's just another journey as well. Once I got into it, no, it was really enjoyable. I mean, they were good lads, they listened, and um, it was nice with Pablo there to help us sort of guide us through it. So no, it was, uh, it was a really enjoyable sort of afternoon, yeah, enjoyed it. Huge. I mean, you heard them say, you know, they've both done their level twos, um, George is studying at the moment, and they're the same ages, you know, as some of our guys. And I think it's really important for them to understand what goes in to becoming a coach, a player, and there's some, a lot of transferable skills there in terms of the sacrifices, the effort, the application, staying positive when they get rejected. You know, for our cohort, the large majority of them aren't in education, aren't in employment, they're doing their training course now, so they've had setbacks, they've had situations that aren't too savvy for want of a better term and they've had to deal with that and they're in a place now where they're showing that commitment, they're turning up on time. Fingers crossed they'll all pass on Friday and like I said the ones who show that extra special attitude and application we can get them involved. Now being able to tell them how I got through my setbacks and then maybe they could take a few tips, a few techniques maybe on how to to use them in everyday life. Just have a good attitude about things. I think if you I know it's not. I know it's not going to take you everywhere, but if you have a good attitude, you've got as good a chance as anyone. So just, just be positive, really. The last time he was here, he was sat as that scholar, that young, fresh-faced scholar, still young and fresh-faced. But now he's here, playing, you know, games in the first team. And I think it's important for him to tell that story, for our young people to recognise that you know what, if you put the effort in, when that opportunity strikes, whether it's an opportunity to come to QPR as a coach or as a player, that you can take it. Oh yeah, definitely. I wouldn't. I wouldn't be anywhere near here if it wasn't for them. So, especially I've got a lot of people to thank, but too many to just start naming. So, yeah, I've got a lot of people to that have helped me along. I've got a lot to thank for the likes of Chris, Steve, Paul Furlong. You know, they've all helped me massively in my short journey so far at QPR.